again and I hope you're doing good. I have many videos posted about this subject, but I wanted to explain better the reasoning why this makes so much sense and maybe prevent someone from spending mucho dollars. The subject is why to not waste your money on auto throw powder throwers and why this way is much better. Think about it as you do what you want, accurate powder throws to the hundreds or thousands of a grain. Stay tuned and watch how this works and is the same amount of time dispensing powder as the auto throw. If this video helped you, please hit the like, subscribe and bell notifications of new episodes. Please be a loyal pay it forward person and get a membership, merchandise, download files or donate to help me help you. Click the memberships slash buy link below the video. This really helps the channel a lot. Alright, let me show you this and prove it to you. Okay, first of all, what I want to do here is we're back to the blue screen, I know. Is I want to go over some of these notes so I can put them up here or here or whatever about the difference between using an auto thrower or going manual the way I have it set up, which I will show you after this. So I use the Sartorius GD503 scale, okay? They do not make this scale anymore. I was lucky enough to find one on eBay and I got it for a good price and it was in great shape. But Sartorius does have their replacement models are called the Entris 2 series. Now if you go on their website you're going to see their prices and they're going to scare you way the hell out. But that doesn't mean that's what you're going to pay for. But it doesn't have to be a Sartorius. As long as it's a good scale that has three digits past the decimal, you know, in thousands. Hundreds just is not going to do it. It's going to be your most expensive thing, but get a good one and you're good forever. Now, kernels have different weights. I use Varget and I'm going to show you by weighing them. Kernel to kernel in that. They're usually around two one hundredths, but they can range from one and a half one hundredths to two and a half to three. So it's it's very hard getting the same pour twice because you've got thousands of kernels there all of different weights. So it's not like you can come to 0 0.02 and add a grain to get 0 0.02. That's not going to happen. That's why I use this little bowl and I'll show you that also. Now I use the, the uh, RCBS Uniflow 3 powder measure and that thing is great. It just boom boom just dumps your powder and you can adjust it and get it to close to where you need a little under and then the magic comes in with the dandy trickler and I will show you that this thing whoever invented that it's very simple but it, it just works so much better than anything and then set yourself up ergonomically where you can get a nice workflow you know I have my scale here my powder thrower there and my bullets here with the funnel and it's just an er ergonomic workflow I can dump powder weigh it and pour it into my cases just as fast as using an auto thrower with an auto thrower okay you gotta put your cup in there then you gotta wait a couple seconds and it'll dump the initial throw, okay? With mine, I put the cup under there, boom, boom, the throw's done, it's on. So that's a little faster. Then the auto trickler's gotta trickle up to whatever you want and I have my dandy trickler has two buttons on it, fast or slow. 
and I trickle up to where I want. It's, it's the same. It may that you have to physically do more, but it's not going to kill you. Um, now, with say like the auto trickler or something like that, they do not allow you to use like a sartorius scale with it. You have to use an AMD which only goes to two decimal points which is, you know, and that's two one hundredths because when you get to say, say you get to 28.02, okay, and you want to go up, so it, you trickle, your trickle is trickling and it can go to 28.04. So within that two, it could be 28.00 or it could be 28.04. You don't know where it is in there. So you can have four one hundredths of a grain or forty thousandths of a grain difference. Um, that's just not going to cut the cheese with me. I, I, I want to be more accurate and you know how I am. Now, I say I'm using my system, which I'm going to show you all this stuff. And I'm going for 28.8 grains. With this scale, I shoot for 27.990 to 28.005. I will allow a little overthrow because again, that's because of the size and the weight of the kernels. You, you just can't get them all at 28.00. Zero. That's not going to happen. So what I'm allowing for is a difference of 1.5 hundredths or 15 thousandths of a grain. When you're using those auto systems, you're getting a difference of 4 one hundredths or 40 thousandths. Which would you rather have? All of this will greatly improve your accuracy, your consistency, and your SDES, which in my opinion, I do not consider SDES as the holy grail because point of impact is more important to me, what you're getting on target. Okay, so I've said all that. Let's go to the setup I have and let me show you how easy and fast this is if you get a good workflow, if you're set up comfortably. All right. Okay, here's how I got mine set up nice and ergonomic, ergonomically. Wow. So here's where I set. Here's my Sartorius GD503 scale. In the back here, this yellow thing is the dandy trickler, which goes through a hole that I drilled in the glass into my Area 419 powder cup. Here is my RCBS Uniflow 3 powder measure. Here's my EP Integrations loading block with my cases in it, my Area 419 funnel. And here are my Lapua Skinner bullets. Now let's go to another view. I'll zoom in on the scale and I'll show you how this works. But the first thing I do is I take, I load two cups and put it in the dandy trickler and get that flowing. Then I load another cup and pour it into this bowl. Okay, so the first thing I want to do is get my scale zeroed. Okay, we are zeroed. All right, 28.2, so I'll hit it a fast one once to get her boosted up there. Twenty-eight point seven nine zero. That's good. That's my low threshold. 
Let's do it again. Okay, so now I went over. So that's why I have my little pair of tweezers. I know all I gotta do is take one out. All right, 27.790, that's my low threshold again. Well, 27.78. I know I need one grain, so instead of trying it with the trickler, I'll grab it from my pan. Twenty-seven point seven nine five. All right, that's five thousandths of a grain. Let's do it again. All right, let's give it a big push. One more grain. You'll get to know what it takes with practice. All right, that gives us 28.8, perfect. And then when I'm done powder throwing, I just take my cup, fill her up, make sure I move it over to the next one, and boom, I'm ready to go again. And now, when I fill up a roll, I will take bullets and seed them in that roll. Just so I don't get confused and it saves a little time later. So that's the whole operation. Um, in my years of reloading, I found this is the best system. You're going to have to have the initial investment in a good scale, yes. And if you don't have a power thrower, yes, you'll have to get one of those. But all in all, I wouldn't go any other way. Thank you very much for watching.